presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 22, NASDAQ's down 2.5, SPs are flat. Gold, gold contract flat, 1942, silver down 6 cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 54 cents, $87.41 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down two ticks, trade 109.29. The 30-year, up eight at 119.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 23 ticks, 105.081. The magic number, folks, is 104.699. We'll show you how this shakes out. The Euro at 106, the Yen trading at 147, the British Pound at 124, the one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is, you got a consolidation happening here. There's going to be a battle right up here. So, what we did out here yesterday is this. This is how you look at this. We had sign of strength here on the 26th. You go up the S&P, this is 83 million. You come down yesterday, you rejected it at 70, okay? Today, you can see what's happening. You have 39 million, you went up, so you're going against 70 now with 39. That's saying, can't hold price, you got to 447, you're at 444, that's saying it's gonna come right back down and try to test this area again. And you know, if you, I'm sure most of you have heard Tim Ward yesterday, this is the whole area. This whole area right here is where all the ticks and trend are coming out, you know? So the more that we keep testing this, We'll see if the ticks and trend come up, but this is the area where the battle lines are set up. We go take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX. They have it the NDX. Take a look at this. Now, the, 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 the intriguing thing about the NDX, folks, is this. The NDX is still showing that it was stronger than the SPY, even with Apple getting smoked. That being said, what you had is this. You're going into 58 million, and we did 53, 52, we rejected lower price. Now you can see what's happening though. Now we're going into 42 and you only have 27. So we're probably only gonna do about 33. So that's gonna be a rejection. You can't hold price. As soon as that happens, you're gonna go right back down. There's the, these are the battle lines that are set up. We go to the note and bond market because they're all moving together. The, the cool thing here is that, you know, there's a method to the madness here. You go to the note and bond market. We I pull up the 10 year first. What you're going to see, you're going to see what we had done. Let's pull this across right there. Okay. So we were going the last uh, Wednesday and Thursday, you were going into 2.7 million, and we only did 1.4 and 1.2. Now, that being said, it got to 110.10 today, couldn't hold price, 
and the 11010 was going into 1.5 million contracts and you only did 948. So that's also saying it's going to retest that area. We go to gold. Going to be the same setup. This is this is a true battle line. There's no two ways about it. We take a look at gold. There she is. Come on, give me that. There we go. Okay. So you look at the gold contract. Let me get the volumes on here for you. We were going into 170,000 contracts. On Wednesday, we did 149. Yesterday, we did 117. Now, today, we did 132, but the 132 was going to 193. You know, now the gold's not as bad as the other ones. You can see that there was a, you know, expansion of volume, but you're still going to 193. So this isn't done either. And it's all right here. All right, in this dollar. Take a look at the dollar. I'll put this up intraday first. What you're going to see intraday is that the dollar, well, let me put a daily up first and show you the magic number here. The magic number is this swing point. It's been trying, trying, trying to stay over it. And that magic number is the 104.699. Now, intraday, we did get below it just barely and just barely for seconds. Okay, so if you take a look at it, you're going to see what happened. Is that we got down there, that was at approximately 10.30 this morning. And then, guess what? It says, see ya, don't want to be ya. So the bottom line is that the dollar is running the whole ball of wax. You know, if you get low, if you have a lower dollar, we'll have a higher market. You get a higher dollar, a lower market's coming at us. That's the bottom line. And it's all correlated around the aspect. You can see what I did, whether it's the S&P, whether it's the bonds, whether it's gold. You know, let's go to the oil market and see what's happening there. That might be trading on its own. We take a look at the oil. I want the active contract, CLA. Okay, so the oil contract, 261,000 contracts. The high there is 88.97. That's interesting. So we hit 88.95. Yeah, this is this is still once higher price, man. This is still on ABC up. That's what it looks like. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow's up 24. Nasdaq's up one. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 13. You get the Nasdaq down six. S&Ps are off two and a half. And, uh, you know, you talk about time going fast, folks, okay? <laughs> this is crazy, man. I got out of the Marines 53 years ago today. 53 years, man. Now, if I dial forward 53 years, yeah, it's not good. Bye-bye. <laughs> Time just goes fast, man. It's, and so, you, you know, that whole deal, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Keep that at the top of your mind, always. Apple. We take a look at Apple. So, Apple's kind of doing, the, the market's all doing the exact same thing here. And what you're going to see with Apple, you know, first off, Apple couldn't make its highs. You know, came, came to where we came down with high volume first. You know, come off the high of uh, what, 194, gets down to 171, does a counter trend move up to, what's that, 190, comes down hard, gaps down with higher volume, today runs to 180, has 52 million shares going against 82. So, what this is doing is setting up a potential another ABC down. If you take a look at this, I'll put this on a weekly for a second. What you also have is that at this level, Apple is now in the range that it has been for almost two and a half, three years. It went out of the range, now it's back in the range. And the bottom of this range, by the way, on Apple, is 120. That's how that sets up. You're at 150. 120 is the bottom of the range. We'll see how this shakes out. So that's going to be, that's good. That's a big one, man. That's definitely a big one because of the fact that everyone owns Apple. Every fund owns Apple, all, all of the above. You know, Apple was the leader on the way up, charge, charge, charge. And, you know, it was amazing actually yesterday, you know, that we actually got a rejection of lower price even when Apple was, you know, down more. You know, as I said a little bit earlier, I think, though, that this is the area um, where the whole battle lines are taking place, right? You know, right at these, and this is a shallow retracement. So you're going to get a good understanding of how you take out the swing point. So the swing point for all these ABC structures, well, on the SPY, it's going to be 70 million. 
for the potential ABC down. And for the Qs, it's going to be 52. And if you get that ABC down, what you'll see is that the next leg will just get you to the low of that consolidation, that bottom, which is that 354. Now, this is the cool thing, right? So let, let, we'll do a couple of different scenarios here. Let's picture that on Monday, Tuesday, you do take it out. ABC structures on the way down or on the way up. You got A to B, straight line move. B to C is all over the place. C to D, straight line move. Now, if you don't get um, a B to C all over the place, they're not as strong because what happens, they haven't built up enough cause. So what tends to happen is that if we go straight right down, what you'll see is the volume will dry up dramatically because we're going at the 61 million. I get the, this is on the cues. If we mess around in here for a week or two weeks, then that could be more trouble. You know, so it's all about building cause, where it goes, meaning how long it can go. Because the longer you build cause, the more power the market gets on the way up or on the way down. Now, we had a question about the dollar, meaning the dollar hasn't even done a 0 0.382 retracement from the highs. If I check this out, and this is where it might want to go because this is where it's gone, you know, on the last two uptrends. If you take a look at this, you're going to see it's right. It gave it up at the 0 0.382 from the high out here of 114 to the low. You can see that's the number. You know, that's the next swing point also. The thing that is wild is that it's having a really tough time staying over this 104.699. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. But, you know, even a 0 0.382 retracement is a light retracement in a market. And because if I'm going to bring up the dollar again, because in the bigger picture, the dollar is still on a downtrend. So watch this. I mean, this just sounds hard to believe because the dollar has been going up so long. But when you look at this, let me bring this back. Pull this this way, whoops. What you're gonna see is that, you know, we've we come off the side of, the, of that 114, you know, the first time you come down, you come down to the 104, no, the 100. You go back up to the 105, you come back down to the 99.50, and now we're dealing with, you know, you get the, the 104.699, and then it's going to be the, the monster number. Because the monster number, that's where that huge bar is. The bottom of that bar is 105.321. The swing point is 105.883. And that's just where it might want to go. And that's, that'll be a big battle right there. Because you can see that's in one month, that's when the dollar went from 113 to 106. So, you know, the reason I'm taking some time with this is that the dollar is running everything. You can see it, it's so clear, it's the same. Because it's, it has to do with, you so picture, when the dollar goes down, you can see that bonds stay higher. So the bond market is trying to say, let's go, let's go look at the 30-year for a second, because the 30-year the kind of held today, which is interesting. So we pull up the 30-year, did 225,000, but see, that's not enough volume either. It just seemed that it held price. Yeah, it's not enough volume, because you were going into 369,000, you did 220. Now, it held price, so it, it did better than a 10. So, if the bond market's going to go up, that's saying that higher yield, I mean higher price, lower yield, right? If you get higher price and lower yield, you're going to have a lower dollar. That's how this thing's set up. You're also going to have higher gold, higher silver, higher market. <laughs> so, we'll see where it's going to shake out, man. That's the bottom line. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. You got uh, Tesla is down at three bucks. You got 
That's easier doing it this way. Let's go to the NDX first. Inside the NDX, you got Marriott up 2.8%. Uh, what is that? Global Foundry, okay, up 2.7. Warner Brothers up uh, 2.5 and Gilead up 2.4. Taken away from it. IDEX Pharmaceutical up 2.7. You got Luce at the car company up 2.7. Align uh, Technology off 2.6. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 13. Nasdaq's down 2. S&P's off 2. Come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down five. You get the Nasdaq off 12. S&Ps are off four and a half. And if you saw the NFL last night, folks, uh, your Super Bowl champs, Kansas City just couldn't do it. 21-20. You know, Detroit Tigers, man. Detroit Lions, rather. Uh, pretty amazing game. I mean, just really amazing. They, and they did it at Arrowhead Stadium, which is pretty amazing. So... You know, these teams, is going to be a, this is going to be a great year. That's the bottom line. I'm sure, and I love Mahomes. I mean, he's just an amazing player, there's no doubt. Goff, Goff is an amazing player. Um, you know, 
they had he had uh, Kansas City didn't have Travis though. That's you know that's like not having your best player, you know. And they say he's going to be back next week. That's going to be pretty wild because you know in between the game they're saying he had no power on his knee yesterday. Like okay, how are you going to do this in a week? But they do that in the NFL. You know, but I mean, we'll see where it shakes out. But what a game. No doubt about that. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So point wise inside the Dow today, we have you got Microsoft putting 26 positive points, uh, Amgen 25, Goldman 16, Salesforce 13. Taken away from it. Boeing minus 33, United Health minus 29, Travelers minus seven. No big deal. Let's go to the home business. We'll go to Home Depot, see what this is looking like. So Home Depot, put this on a weekly. This is looking pretty good, actually. This has been building a base now, you know, for about a half a year. And you can kind of see when we get to these tops, now this is, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. This is where you can see that it is hard to break through ice. And, you know, ice is set up at a price point of uh, 343. Yeah, 343. And you can see when it gapped down, see it gapped down with 45 million shares. The first time that we came up here, you came up with 29, failed on price. Next time you come up, with 17, couldn't hold it. That brings you all the way back down to the 280 mark. Now, we just had, a few weeks ago, you came back up with 22, 20, 20 versus, no, 20 versus 25. So that's saying that this needs more cause, man, to get through that. Now, that's on the weekly. Let's see what happens on the, on the monthly. On the monthly, you can see that you're going into, okay, so we're going into 103, the first time we came up, 77, so 25% less. Yeah, this is going to have to build more cars to get through there. That's what it comes down to. Let's see if Lowe's, Lowe's is probably set up the same way. We take a look at Lowe's. Put this first on the weekly. Uh, I can't see much on the weekly. Put it on the monthly. Hmm. Now, see, you know what's interesting here? Is that Lowe's is actually stronger than Home Depot. That would make sense, the reason being is that Lowe's is really the store for the personal fixer-uppers, more so than the contractors. You know, that, that's just how the business runs. And you can see Lowe's already made it through, or it's up at the top of ICE. The top is 230, 228, we're at 231. Now the volume's dropping off, but you can see, and that totally makes sense because the you can see the aspect of across the country, I can see the contractors pulling back versus the fixer-uppers, you know? And we'll see how that shakes out in the future, but that's kind of how it's set up. Let's go to Toll Brothers and take a look at Toll Brothers. Put this on a monthly. This is at all-time highs, man. <laughs> oh, this is something else. And, you know, what you, ha what you have here is that they're building a lot of homes. They have their own financing inside of uh, our V. Let me pull this up and see what else is in there. So this one signal I just brought up, I can bring them all up. So let's see. Who's up the most this year? So you got percentage-wise Taylor Morrison. Okay, so let's pull up Taylor Morrison. T M 
TMHC, okay. TMHC. Huh. Even though it seems down, it's up to the most for the builders anyway. Yeah. Well, they get volume up at these highs and they're pulling back with light volume. That's, that's still a sign, man, that they want higher price. And, you know, I was talking yesterday about the aspect of mortgages and how the mortgage brokers are working right now. And, you know, you're not going to get a mortgage at par. And par just means that, let's say the mortgages are going at 7%, you get it at 7%, you're not paying points. The other brokers now are basically charging, you know, probably most of them a point and a half to two points. And the reason for that is that, so picture how the mortgage business works. You and I go get a mortgage. The broker writes up the deal. They, the, the folks they're selling to is always Wall Street, okay? Wall Street will, you know, basically say what the, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac will say what the rate is, okay, which, that they'll buy the mortgage at. What ends up happening there is that they're putting points on because if the mortgage gets paid off too early, there are penalties that are associated even with the buying and selling of mortgages if they get paid off too quick. So what ends up happening is that they want those two points so they know they're gonna get something out of the mortgage. And it's actually, you know, as I said yesterday, it's just the opposite of what I thought would be going on because of the fact that there's not a lot of mortgages being written. You know, so a supply demand aspect is one thing, but the market is looking and Wall Street is looking that lower rates are coming at us and they think there's gonna be a huge amount of refinances in the future. You know, and that's, that's what, you know, everyone hopes, right? You know, you buy, buy a house at 7%, you say, because when you do the numbers, you know, when you do the numbers, even at 7%, if the housing stock, because it's so tight, if it's even going up 5% a year, you're still better off buying the house than waiting three or three years, because the fact of the matter is, is that the house is going to go up that much more, you know, and you're going to pay more money, but yeah, you're going to get a, a lower rate, but you're going to get a lower rate on a higher dollar value. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up the 34. NASDAQ is down 9. S&P's off 1.5. Let's go to Adam in Detroit. Adam, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, always great, man. Enjoying life. That's not, a uh, not calling you from day but uh back home in michigan nice yeah, yeah no it's all good so no I mean, the question i had is uh i, I mean uh uaw negotiations are uh coming up on the uh, september 14th yes uh and drawing a hard line what's your thoughts and what's your overall impact to the market relative to uh, the auto industry um size of of impact so the the battle lines are set up between the union, of course, and, you know, the company itself, which is basically the executive suite. Yep. You, you know, I've always been a union person. My father was uh, the oh, general. Boston. I got it. Yeah, yeah I he agree. was the general chairman <laughs> of the signalman, okay? That, and that's when yeah. the signalman, folks, just check this out. So this was 1960. You know, the signalmen, you know, basically had to walk the tracks then. That's when the signalmen were only making $8,000 a year. $8,000. Right. You heard that right. He got them up to 10000 So right. that was a big day in our house, right? That being said, the automakers themselves, you know, I think the executive suites are out of their mind and they have been for a long time. You know, so if you're the worker versus what these executives are making, you know, Mary Barr, uh, Mary Barr, she's making 28 million. The guy from Ford's making 20 million. It goes all the way down the line, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. so. No, you're, you're straight on. I mean, it's very interesting because the um, uh, transportation industry just signed up for a 40% labor increase, right? So yeah. um, very interesting to see uh, if, if, the, if the UAW holds out for that as well. So, I mean, I, I just, I, I'm just, interested as far as the disruption to the supply chain in North America, what will or what your thoughts will or will not happen because it's, it's, it might be impactful. Oh, it will be impactful. I mean, this you know, yeah. it, the thing is wild. You know, I wish I flagged some of these shows like from two or three years ago because I remember, you know, spouting my mouth off about the aspect that inflation's coming and you're going to see the unions get powerful again and you're going to see this fight right. and that's where we are. You know what I mean? So, um, yep. It is what it is, um, and you know, it's like who has built America? It certainly isn't the executive suite; it's the workers. You know, no, and, yeah, no, fair, fair, fair point, and I, I support it a hundred percent because, again, at the end of the day, it's 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 the people that matter. Yeah, so, no, I mean, but I, I get it in the context I, I, of disrupting too. I mean, you know, because that once it's disrupted. A lot of people are going to lose paychecks. I, I get, I get all of that too. Do you know what I'm saying? And you know, things change yep. now in the automotive business. It gets really wild because of the fact that you know, if you really get into it, it's like, okay, GM shouldn't even be around. We already saved GM. The, the mind blower here that no one talks about is that, okay, everyone blew their brains out. GM got in the financing business. They went bankrupt. You know, you and I bailed them out without even knowing we bailed them out. They right. start again and nothing changes. 
So no, you're right. You know, I mean, at least Chrysler paid back their loan to the government. GM yeah. never had. Right. GM oh, right. paid their loan. That's pretty intense. I didn't know that. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Yep. And you know when you look when you look at the numbers, I mean, I'm looking at the numbers right now. GM did 137 billion in 2019. This year they're doing 173 billion. If we look at Ford, they did. Ford's in trouble. Okay, Ford did 143 billion in 2019. They're doing 164 this year. You know. Yeah. So. Yep. You know, it's going to be a battle, man. And the battle's not over here, man. And, you know, we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. But I think once you saw that the, you know, Sean O'Brien from Local 25, when he broke, you know, the transportation deal, and Local 25 <laughs> is in Boston and South Boston and Somerville, the whole ball, I'm very familiar with them. Um, that started the ball, man. It's like, okay, right. the rest of them, they're not going to go because they know, picture this, they know they run the goods, man. If the goods stop, well, guess what? Everything stops, you know? Right. And so the balances always go different, you know, they go back and forth. Now, they take years and years because what did, I saw both sides. You know, my father was there, the workers were getting screwed. By the time I was... Like, so I was 10 then. By the time I was 30, I couldn't stand some of these guys, even in Local 25, because I knew they were ripping everyone off because it had tipped the other way. And that was, you know what I mean? That was kind of strange to me right. personally. And then, you know, guess what? Another 20 years later, they were getting screwed. And so right. it tipped the other way because now I'm in the finance business and I really understand, I mean, anyone that's in the stock market really understands like, how do these CEOs go from making, you know, let's say 10 times what a worker makes to like 100, 200 times? Like, and that, better. you know, so people, yeah. you know, you get the gist. I mean, it's, that's, no, and that's, no, that's, no, that's it's always going to be the battle. Back, yeah, no, back in 09, you know, when, when the UAW made all their concessions, right, they have never clawed anything back, unfortunately. And, and, uh, Inflation is upon us, and uh, they're asking for a fair wage for a fair uh, labor. So it'll be very interesting to see. But it, it coming September 14th, and the executive leadership of the UAW has drawn a hard line in the sand saying we're going to stop. So it'll be very interesting to see. I just was looking to see what your overall impact was to the market to, uh, on that. On that uh, no, decision. I'm with you. And you can see, you know, this turns into a financial and a political deal because right now, folks, the UAW won't endorse Biden, which normally that happens, okay? They normally have a Democratic deal because they know that that's the only card that they actually have left is for the administration to start leaning on the car companies, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. so they're all playing hardball, you know, but we know that if there is a strike, it's a problem for all of us. That's the, that's, you know, to answer your question, that's, that's what yep. it comes down to. No, I agree. Yeah. You know, no, so. I, 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 unfortunately, and, and, uh, is the, uh, Sean Spain, the, uh, UAW president, local or president, he keeps throwing all the contracts in the garbage. It's uh, it's a very interesting conversation. So I'm yeah. um, just seeing what people are thinking. You talk about shocks in the water, huh, man? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. heavy. It's about as heavy as you can get, man. It really is. It's like wow. It, it's uh, there's a lot of capital at uh, at stake. In there, the world. there, there so, is, there is. There's no yeah. doubt about it. And and what ends up happening is that there's so many hidden places for profit. There's so many hidden places. That, you know, you got the jets that they have. I mean, they, this is when they start digging into it. It's like, oh, really? Okay, you know, don't tell me it's this when it's this and it's this when it's this, you know. So the more that, the longer that it goes, most times they find out more in the aspect of, okay, we're spending even more, wasting even more. But that we yep. know that the strikes are no good for the country. That's the other side of it. There's no doubt about that. Yep. Adam, you have a great so one and a safe one, man. All right, be safe, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 39, the Nasdaq's down three, S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 39. You get the NASDAQ down one. S&P is a flat. And the uh, bottom line is that just get over to this U.S. dollar, man, because... We're going to close out the week at 105.027. So let's bring this up, put this on a weekly and see what we look like. We know we're over the swing. That's the bottom line. The magic 104.699. Take this. So see, this is interesting because... When you do it on a weekly, you can see that it looks like we're a lot further over than the daily. You know, we're, I mean, we're, we're only over it by what? Three by 400 ticks, which is about a half a penny. But when you do look at that bar versus this bar, it's like, you know what, man? This next bar is going to be game, which is going to be the 105, what? That's going to, that really is the top of the range. And that's the top of the range going back to 2022, of May of 2022. That's how that shakes out. And the bottom right there, what is that again? 106, so 106201. Now, that's almost like a full point. We'll see, we'll see where this shakes out because if we go up there, you're gonna see a lower market. If we fail at this point, you're going to see a higher market. It's that cut and dry. That's what it comes down to. Because everything's priced in dollars. They're all trading. Oh, I know. There was another question that 
the correlation between gold and the dollar hasn't been there. That, now this is, but that's a positive correlation if you're into gold. Because gold, I've said this in the gold report, gold should be a lot lower, man. You know, what has happened is that the gold contract has not got smoked as much as I think it should have with the dollar at these all-time highs. So that's a positive divergence for gold. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back in uh, 9 o'clock, Monday morning. Tommy will be back sometime Wednesday or Thursday. Have a great weekend, folks, and a safe one. Go get them, folks.